How you like the new new? Look, you give it to me, I'm gonna destroy it. <laughs> but I'll let you live. Don't make me a murderer, Peter. Electro represents acknowledgement and his motivation is to be seen. The character before the villain was invisible to his co-workers, managers, women, the public, especially living in New York City. And then there's Spider-Man, who is so well known all over the world. People think he's a hero. Other people think he killed Mysterio. Nevertheless, Spider-Man is not invisible. Maxwell Dillon or Electro hits closer to home because his character is a former electrical engineer. Even his name is based on Maxwell's equations which are the base of electromagnetics and all electrical circuits. The orange cables that Max is working on in this scene are really significant because orange is the color that electrical engineers will use to denote high voltage devices. When you connect the two cables, there's no call for alarm because of all the plastic and insulations and shielding on the wires, there's not going to be a possibility of an electric shock. Max followed correct procedure when he called somebody to shut off the power to a particular area of the building before working on it just to be absolutely safe. When the response was, no, I'm off for work, that's not possible because there's always going to be a 24-7 surveillance of the electrical power grid, especially in a building like Oscorp. His origin story is a bit tricky. Electric eels can produce up to 600 volts of electricity, which is enough to kill someone or really cause some damage. The way Oscorp was using them as mini generators isn't going to work exactly like they showed because the eels discharge like a capacitor, meaning it only lasts for a few milliseconds. To power a house, with electric eels, you would need hundreds of them. And they would all have to be in this giant tank, which you would have to replace the water and feed the eels, and it wouldn't be consistent power either. If those guys were to take a break or fall asleep, nothing you could do. You got a nice face, you're just a kid. You from Queens. You got that suit, you help a lot of poor people. I just thought you was gonna be black. This is what I was talking about that could maybe be a plot hole in the movie because Electro didn't know that Peter Parker was Spider-Man, so how is it possible that he came back from Doctor Strange's spell? The only way I can maybe rationalize it is because in the end credits, Venom, who knows that Peter Parker is Spider-Man, does show up at the end, but it's not the Venom from Spider-Man 3, it's a different Venom. So could it be that out of the symbiotes had communication over the multiverse? I cannot confirm that. But one thing that I thought about was, if it was just a random Electro that came through, but if one Electro knew that Peter Parker was Spider-Man in one universe, that a different one from another multiverse might have just snuck through and it was completely random because the multiverse is something that we know frighteningly little about.